me that cross wrench? Do you want to tell me what that is? It's the T-shaped dealie I'm going to whack you with if you don't hand it over. You know, Edie used to live around here when she moved away from Wisteria Lane. You mean when you gals gave her the boot? Less yakking, more jacking. Bree, how did you know where she lived? Um, I ran into her once, unexpectedly. Well, well. What are you doing here? I wanted to see you. And you didn't bring muffins? It isn't that kind of visit. No muffins, no small talk. Should I be scared or grateful? I stopped by the prison today. The guard tells me you've been visiting Orson. Sometimes twice a week, she said. Oh, who knew lady prison guards could be so chatty? What are you up to, Edie? I'm not up to anything, you red-headed ice cube. He's 15 minutes away. And quite frankly, I feel sorry for him. After all, I know what it's like to be exiled from suburbia. So you're not trying to start up something? He's in jail. My boobs are impressive, but they can't bend iron bars. Well, thank you for checking in on him and for answering my question. I have a question. Why aren't you visiting him? Oh, well, my schedule is just unreal, what with the catering company and looking after Benjamin. Yeah, well, we're all busy. Come on. Why haven't you been to see him? That jail is... It's disgusting. Those men in cages, like... Even to step foot in that place is humiliating. That man went to jail for you. Do you have any idea how much he must love you? I do. Then why can't you suck it up once a month and go and say hi? Try to help him get through this living nightmare. Why can't you do that? As I think about it, don't visit him. He can do so much better than you. I never told you about that because I was embarrassed. Yeah. Edie Britt shamed you into being a better human being. That is embarrassing. All right, ladies, we're ready to ride. Good. We got some ground to make up. I was hoping we'd be able to get there before dark. How do you think he'll react when we tell him? How do you think? 